Hello YouTubers. Welcome back to my shop. Just finished my uh, weekend project. I started it last weekend, but uh, just got a little bit done, finished it up today. It is my homemade lead hardness tester. I've been having problems with my bullets leading my barrel a little bit in my 45, my 40, and my uh, 9 millimeter. So I, I've been always using just straight wheel weights, dropping them into water as I cast them. And I thought I was doing okay, but uh, I guess not. Or either that or uh, wheel weights have gotten a little softer. I never put the little strips in that are stick on because those are pure lead. I always take those out and separate them. So I'm not getting contaminated, with, if you want to call it contaminated, with the pure lead. Uh, I try to keep it the harder lead, but evidently it's not as hard as it used to be. Let me show you how this works. Now I saw one of these on YouTube. Someone did a video on one. Mine's a little bit different, and I'm going to have to calibrate it because I don't know what my readings will be with mine compared to the one I saw. Um, but that shouldn't be too hard. I've got wheel weights, I've got pure lead, I've got linotype, I've got tin. I'm thinking about ordering some of the Lyman number no. 2 lead so that I have something else to calibrate uh, then I'll th that's what I'm going to shoot for is that Lyman number two hardness let me bring you over here get you zoomed in and I'll show you how it works okay here's a close-up on this end you see there's a line here and there's a line on this dial or the Thing I turn. You line those up. The reason I like this design was you can even use ingots of lead. You can put bullets in between here. What it is is this is down to a, a sharp point. You put what you want to test in here and unscrew this until it's making contact between the point and here. The one that I saw on that's someone selling, I saw it on YouTube, you screw this in until it makes contact but then you have lines all the way around it and it was just the head of a bolt and you turn that one revolution. Well by using it this way I've just got one line and one line here and I don't have to screw that in and out so much. I just thought it'd be easier to just have one line. So now my indicator, let me turn it around this way now. I don't know if you can see my indicator, but it's on zero. And what you do is you give it one revolution here. and then read your indicator which is sixty six and a half let me shut this off and get my notepad okay I got my pad my pen I wrote it down the pure lead was point zero six six five right now I have a piece of uh, wheel weight ingot in here and I'm going to give it one turn And it came out to point zero seven six five. The whole idea of it is that sharp point right here, the harder the lead is, the less it will penetrate into it and it'll deflect my indicator more. So I'll take this out, and now I've got a piece of 
linotype. I'll put it in here. Keep turning the wrong one. All this is is a uh, three-quarter ten bolt that I rounded off the head, faced it off on this side here, and knurled it. This is a piece of uh, inch and a half, I believe it was, that I turned down and put a valve spring on it. And then the, it goes through here, it's three quarters of an inch. Then my indicator is pushing on the back side of that. Okay, right there. Now we'll give it one turn. Okay, the line of type came out point zero eight three. It doesn't seem like it's that much difference, but now I've got this here. I don't know what this is. It says Syrah cast and it's got C D. I don't know if, the, if that's an E or an F and P. Or it might be PP. I'm not sure. I don't know what this is. But I'm going to test to see what, how hard it is. One turn. Okay, that is point. Zero eight zero. So it's harder than wheel weights and softer than linotype. Now the thing about this is this is the pure lead and the wheel weights and the linotype. When I cast these, I mean this has been cast 20 years ago. So I, don't, I used to pour water on them to get them to cool down so I could get to casting faster. Get them out of the mold block, or the ingot mold. So these might actually be harder than what pure lead is, or what wheel weights are, and the linotype. So my plan is to cast up a bunch of bullets with, I've got a 45 long Colt mold, it's got a great big flat nose on it cast a bunch of those and make some ingots and let them cool normal with everything and then put them in little boxes and mark what's in them and check them after I do that and see how they are to get a more consistent test and use bullets and ingots and see if they test the same but that's what I've been doing this weekend it was kind of a pain making that bracket there to hold my indicator, but I got it right, and I got it set right on zero. So, I'm happy with it. I'm going to go down and uh, load it up and put it on YouTube so you can watch it. Thanks for watching. Take care.